Hi everybody and welcome to Wild Music. I'm Bryden. Sonu Nigam performed on the show MTV Unplugged, Season 3, Episode 1, and this aired on the 23rd of November 2013. And the song that I'm going to do a reaction to of his now is Abi Mujmer Kahi, Still Somewhere Inside Me. Sonu Nigam was born in 1973 in Faridabad, Haryana, India. He's a singer, actor, composer, mimicry artist and has also been a host and celebrity judge on TV. He sings in a number of languages, though predominantly in Hindi and Kannada. This song is from the movie Agnipat and this was a remake in 2012 of the previous film of the same name, 1990. So this song, in fact, all of the music on the show, I believe, was composed by Ajay and Atul, who are musical director brothers. So Ajay and Atul Gogavale. And the lyrics of the songs, including this one, were by Amitabh Bhattacharya. So this song is described as, has been described as a soothing romantic track that is mellow and gentle. So I'll tell you a little bit about the movie. This movie start was directed by Karan Malhotra and starred Riktik Roshan, Sanjay Dutt, Rishi Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra, Om Puri and Zarina Wahab. And the plot is, the movie was about a young boy's father who is lynched before his eyes actually and then 15 years later he returns home ready for revenge and I believe uh, there are some fantastic musicians on this track I've only had a glimpse so far so I'm looking forward to hearing it but I believe Suresh Peters Indian musician is on piano so I'm looking forward to all of this let's hear Sonu Nikam singing Abhi Mujme Kahi इस गाने के लिरिक्स राइटर मेरे बहुत ही प्रिय मित्र और बहुत ही गुणी सोचने वाले अब से कुछ एक महीने पहले दुनिया को छोड़कर चले गए एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टी टू अजय झिंगरन आई ऑलवेज मिस हिज आईज हिज स्पिरिट दिस इज माई ट्रिब्यूट टू अजय झिंगरन बीते जो में तेरी वो ही पल है जिंदगी बीते जो में तेरी वो ही पल है जिंदगी 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 
की छलकी चांदनी में गाती है दीवानगी
Thank you very much. Wow. That was an absolutely magical performance and breathtaking. Oh, Sonu Nigam's vocals are out of this world. And the musicians, the band there, were absolutely fantastic. And I will go back in a little while and highlight some of Suresh Peters' piano playing as well. But not to detract from the whole band. They're all brilliant. Anyway, let's first have a listen to some of Sonu Nigam's mid-register. He's just got a very sweet tone to his mid-register. Mid register, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's have a listen from this point. <laughs> Yes, it's magic. Oh, wow. Let's hear it again. Wow. Let's go now to some of his lower register. And he's got a rich deep tone there too. That's absolutely s- stunning. Whoa, he's got such excellent control over everything that he's producing within his vocals. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's hear that again. His low register. Now he's getting a bit higher. So let's go to some of his higher register. But let's go back a little bit and go from this point. Wow, he's really, really telling the story and getting, communicating the sentiments of the song to the listener, which is the most important thing with any vocal performance. He is doing that absolutely brilliantly. Let's go back and hear that passage again. Passage pretty much roughly, if I get it from the right spot approximately, was where was this moment of mine? Now it's in front of me. 
Should I die or should I live a little? Should I kiss joys or should I cry a little? Should I die or live for a while? Sort of that was that little segment. Beautifully done. Let's hear another spot in the song. We'll go to here. जलते हुए तन को छाया पेड़ के मिल गई रूठे बच्चे की हंसे जैसे फुसलाने से फिर खिल गई कुछ है Beautiful high end in his voice, isn't it? Such a wonderful tone. That section was, I'm pretty sure, as if the body burning down in the sun got the shade of a tree, like the smile of an angry kid, came back on a little cajoling, something, something, sorry, something like that is what my heart is feeling now. Wow. Okay. Let's move on and have a listen to some of his well-controlled vibrato. There. That was the one vibrato I wanted to point out. The rest was ornamentation. And it's a little like vibrato, but it wasn't. That was, I'm pretty sure, vibrato. I would call it vibrato anyway. Right on that last night. Let's hear it again. (laughs) Stunning. And he fades it out so beautifully as well. Let's hear another example of his vibrato. Before we move on to some of the ornamentation, the alankar. Let's hear that again. Beautifully controlled vibrato. Okay, actually, before we move to the ornamentation, let's start right back near near the beginning. And he performed an akar. Absolutely, amazingly controlled. Well controlled. Unbelievably well controlled, right? I want to play it again. Such beautiful piano accompaniment from Suresh Peters as well in the beginning there. And we'll come to some of his solo section in a minute too. Okay, let's have a listen to a really excellent example. There were so many of them where Sonu Nigam uses the murki, the trill. Here's an example. Zindagi, 
छलकी छलकी चांदनी so there were so many examples in there he has that really well controlled and there were, were a few riffs as well so you know under the umbrella of um, under the umbrella of alankar ornamentation absolutely brilliant let's say that again particularly focusing on quite a few murki that he performed in that passage Love the way he just slid down off that last note very, very slightly as well. It was just beautifully done. Let's hear another example of Murki and the way he uses that. Wow, so many, many examples in that passage. I'll move on. Let's go just after this. In fact, we'll play it from here. And here's some more examples. <laughs> Excellent, right? What about an example of a mind, which is the glide or the slide from one note to another that he uses for effect as well? It's these or, This ornamentation, the alankar, is very stylistic. So it's just beautiful. And it's so difficult and so well controlled by Sonu Nigam. <laughs> So a couple of examples of the mind. Let's hear it again. Beautiful. And I wanted to highlight this cli the climax of the song where he gets to the that long note and it's amazing. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? I'll play it again. Oh, wow. I just love the glockenspiel introduction as well that he played. Let's have a little bit of a listen to that too. Beautiful, right? 
Great idea. Great introduction with the glockenspiel part. And now let's have a listen to some of Suresh Peters's Suresh Peters's piano playing. beginning the akar but Suresh Peters's sensitive accompaniment is beautiful there and then the percussionist or one of the percussionists brings in the bells to start and then Sonu Nigam's vocals come in beautiful let's go to this point with the piano solo as well Okay, awesome, wasn't it? And, I mean, the whole band, we've got the guitarists, the bass player, the drummer, the percussionist, as well as the pianist and Sonu Nigam on, on vocals and glockenspiel. Brilliant. Oh, wow. That was a real treat. What a performance. That was absolute magic. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this performance and look forward to seeing you again very, very soon on another reaction. So for now, goodbye and danyavad.